Cave. Uh, Jonathan, uh, I fear Jonathan is, is nudging me and tweaking me, so we, we, must, we must push on. I, I have little to say except to, to speak of Spike, a man whose contribution to British culture is incalculable. Since the Second World War, in which he served, Spike Milligan has been central to the development of British comedy. One might almost say our actual sense of humour. Everyone in this room knows that in comedy, very little is truly original. Spike's work is part of that very little. His novels, his extraordinary memoirs, his work in radio and in television was like nothing that went before, but much of what came after owes him an enormous debt. I first saw Spike play live at Guildford Civic Hall when I was 12 years old, about the time I read Bakun and Adolf Hitler, my partner's downfall, and all the wonderful work, and I've been a fan ever since. And it is for me a very great honour to have been asked to present Spike with his award tonight. But first, however, let's have a small taste of the man's contribution to the art of making people laugh. He must be one of ours. <laughs> what are you doing down here? Everybody's got to be somewhere. <laughs> the hard ones first, eh? <laughs> well, I don't want you to spread this around, but I'm the coal man. The coal man? It's three in the morning. Yep. Never too late to be a coal man. <laughs> I haven't knocked yet, you twit, Mr. Melvin. <laughs> We all do. <laughs> Stop it, you hear me or you go blind! Excuse me. Who are you? Uh, uh, Mr. Roper. What a good memory you've got. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm looking for today. Today? This is today. It's here with us all day today. No, no, no. All day today. You wouldn't you're standing on it. No, but no. All these walls are today. No, I, I mean the general direction. It's all in the general direction of today. No, studio, studio three. Studio three? Yes. Straight up here. The left. And left again, left again, and then left again. Yeah. Well, uh, and I'll be there? No, you'll be back here, but by then somebody might be here who knows the way. <laughs> <laughs> a man was arrested in Hyde Park today for feeding the squirrels. He's feeding them to his dog. <laughs> <laughs> the dog was last seen running up an old tree trying to save his nuts for the winter. <laughs> Money, no reasonable offer of you. I know you, you're... You're Dave Lodge, late of uh, Copper Shell Heroes. And according to your credentials, the action is on the. Oh no, on the shelves. I have just got a job as a policeman. Let up, will you, Buana? He actually said, Sambo Top, this must mean blackmail! Oh. In 1603, Dr. Jim Dale isolated the human link. Let's take a pair, like mine, for instance. <laughs> Now, 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 this is the type you see hanging out of Scotsman's kilts. Anything else hanging out is illegal. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Milligan.
I was going to say about bloody time. <laughs> As the uh, TV companies have not employed me for uh, <laughs> ten years. <laughs> I will take that as a, a golden handshake. <laughs> I'm not going to thank anybody because I did it all on my own. Good <laughs> idea. I must wait, I have someone to mention more. Before you go, sir. Spike, Spike, uh, I'm sure everyone knows that you have fans from all walks of life and of course uh, there's one very, uh, very famous, very well respected fan in particular who wanted to be here, couldn't be here, but wanted to send a message These are you. a series of cliches you... Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's my job this evening. Here we go, I have a letter to read out here from His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales. Do I um, kneel down for this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in enough trouble already, I'm not going to say a word. And the Prince of Wales. The Prince of Wales. I'm sorry I have to do this, for, but uh, I know it takes a, a lot of impact out of it, but here we go. <laughs> As someone who grew up to the sounds of the goon show on the steam-driven wireless, I must confess that I've been a lifelong fan of the participants in the show, and particularly of Spike Milligan. Oh, the little grovelling bastard. <laughs> Spike Milligan, whose wonderfully original humour has always reduced me to helpless hysterics. <laughs> it is cripples. I know <laughs> people who have uh, been crippled in the wake of my humour. <laughs> uh, hospital crippled like this. <laughs> it is a. <laughs> <laughs> he loves you, Spike Milligan, ladies and gentlemen. Spike Milligan.